girl Cherie here with another video. And hey, it's very exciting because I am going to finally do um, a DIY curly cut um, and film it. I've been doing like the diva cut or dry curly cuts probably for, this will be my fourth one. And um, I've always been like nervous to like film it and do it because I didn't want to mess up on camera, but I mean, even if I didn't mess up on camera, that doesn't mean I have to post it, right? But this time I'm doing it for you guys to see, maybe give you guys some encouragement if you've been thinking about it. Um, we are in quarantine times where we don't have access to um, salons as easily, or maybe you just are not comfortable with going to a salon. I personally haven't been to a salon in several years. Just because I'm more comfortable with the maintenance of my hair and I trust myself um, rather than, you know, trusting somebody outside who may mess up and then, you know, we have issues. So, um, I have, um, this is actually not a wash and go, like not a true wash and go. I actually used the um, Moisture Miracle pre-shampoo by African Pride on like an already dry twist out and um, the last time I gave myself a curly cut, um, a dry curly cut was about two years ago and I cut it into this shape which is actually still doing pretty well but there's some things going on. You can see my bangs are a little bit longer than I would like them and kind of uneven. I don't know what what's going on here and why this side isn't as long it's really weird but anyway we are going to remedy that we're going to get rid of some of these scraggly ends so it'll be a mixture of cutting curl by curl and also cutting into sections of my hair um, just so that I can redefine my layers um, the length of my hair I plan on keeping I don't plan on getting rid of too much of my length actually I'm going to just do kind of like a trim with it and then put it away so that I don't touch that anymore I have these scissors that I'm pretty sure came from Sally's um, they are hair shears and I only use it for cutting my hair um, if you use scissors that are not for hair cutting like kitchen scissors or just regular house scissors you could end up with uh, doing more damage to your ends, such as split ends. I always recommend go to Sally's, go on Amazon, look up hair shears. They don't cost that much. This one was probably like between six to eight dollars at Sally's. Um, I also have a few scrunchies. Oh, just lost one. A few scrunchies just to section my hair and move it. Okay, so we're going to start off with these bangs. I'm first going to even this out just a little bit and then I'm going to go back and probably cut them a bit shorter after I do that, but just to kind of get some clarity about where I want it to fall and get rid of the scraggly ends. Um, when you cut curly hair and you're trying to just kind of clean up your curls, you wanna cut in the crest of the curl um, and basically just get rid of that little scraggly part that doesn't spiral like the rest of your curl does That's all I'm doing here and I'll do this a couple of times so that you can get a good view of how it should be done And just as a word of advice, if you are not sure how short you want to cut it, always cut it a little bit longer. That way you give yourself some breathing room. Um, you can always go back and cut it shorter. But if you are nervous or unsure at first, cut it lower and then you can always go back and trim it even shorter.
So now I'm just separating out um, like the back section of my hair, which I want to keep the same length, but I am going to do a bit of a dusting of the end. And it's just going to be, be me pulling out strands, strand by strand, um, or just clumps of curls and getting off those scraggly, you know, split ends and maybe some of those strands that might have a few knots. Just getting them cleaned up. All right, so I'm finished trimming the back section. I am going to put this away into just a quick twist so I can start on the next few layers of my hair. This just makes it a lot easier so that I'm not recutting a section that I already cut, um, that I'm not ready to cut, and you know, keep everything organized. For this middle layer, it's a bit more of the same process. I'm just doing dusting here, um, getting rid of those scraggly ends that need a trim. Um, and once I get through cutting the top, I may go back in to add shape to this, but right now this is just trimming. Okay, so we've reached the top layer and this is where the fun happens, you guys. I am going to separate my bangs out from this section. Um, I'm going to also go in and shorten my bangs even more. Um, and basically, once I do this, I'm going to kind of even the rest of this top section out with the length of where I cut my bangs, if that makes sense. Um, just watch and you can kind of see what I'm saying.
Now once the top layer is kind of evened out to the length that I want it, I will go back in um, to the middle layer and let it down and start to create the shape that I want. I want more of a rounded kind of heart shape um, versus like the weird triangle-ish square shape that I had before. And so I'm cutting in all areas on the sides and at the top to kind of uh, even out the length of the layer and just create that gradual round heart shape. And you'll see me do a lot of pulling at my strands. You just kind of want to get your hair as fluffed out as possible. Um, picking may actually help with this. I didn't want to go in with the pick. I just kind of liked pulling at my curls and seeing where they were falling naturally and then kind of cutting them into formation. With this process, you want to move your hair as much as possible. So bring it forward, move it backwards, move it to the side, because you want to see how it's going to fall at all angles. And you want to make sure the shape looks the way you want it from those angles as well. And here's where you'll see what I mean about the rounded shape. Um, on each side, I wanted to just kind of follow this rounded pattern where my hair kind of fell into place and I get that nice little round or sweetheart shape um, that's going to give me the volume and everything else that I'm looking for. And now that I'm happy with the way the top layers look, I am letting down that back layer where I wanted to keep the length of my hair and just trying to even that out so that everything falls into place. That can be a little bit awkward depending on how long your longest layer is, but you really just want to kind of transition it to where it flows naturally. So that's about as comfortable as I am with cutting for now. It obviously needs to be washed and restyled so I can kind of see if everything's falling where I would like it to. But so far, so good. I wanted some volume up top. I still wanted to keep my layers long. I may go in and adjust some things down here just to kind of round it out a bit. Um, because it does look a little bit misshapen in some areas. But the idea is you want to follow kind of how your hair naturally falls and make adjustments from there. Um, so when I style my hair, and it is dry. I will come back and show you the final, final result. But so far, so good. I'm happy with it. I got some more volume up top. I got my bangs back. They're still kind of a little long. I may make some adjustments there too, but overall I'm satisfied with how it looks. So once this is styled and dry, I'll come back to you guys. So it's how much hair did I cut away? Hey you guys, I'm back. So this is the finished result or the final result with my hair styled. 
Um, I did do kind of like a wash and go. I'm already dry, stretched hair. I just went in with my spray bottle. I used the um, Afro Sheen Texture Setting Cream Gel and the um, leave-in conditioner that goes along with the line and some of the oil just to kind of scrunch out the crunch that I had. And I did a little spot check to see if there was any, you know, like strands that I missed. Um, there's a few minor areas here and there that I may go over and like even out for the shape. But other than that, I'm very happy with my new shape. Um, and can't wait to see how it grows, how it looks as it grows out. Um, one of the reasons why you want to do cutting on curly hair, dry curly hair instead of wet hair, or um, even, you know, just like straightened curly hair is because the way that you usually wear your hair, if you wear it curly, is going to look completely different once it's back in this curly state. So if you went and you got a cut while your hair was straightened or flat ironed, um, and you just kind of went straight across, or you got layers, it would look totally different once you achieved your curly hairstyle. So that is why several years ago, I opted to start doing curly cutting and doing it for myself. And so I'm happy that I did so. Um, hopefully the tips and visuals that I provided in this video were helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it, to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Give me a big thumbs up. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so yet. And give me your thoughts. Let me know your comments. Would you try DIY curly cutting at home yourself? It may be a little bit more convenient during this time where we are pretty much uh, quarantined and need to kind of keep social distance. So let me know if this is something you would try, something you'd be curious about, or if you um, rather just play it safe. Give me all your thoughts down below. That is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to live out loud on your truth and let your light shine. Bye.